To be here as a woman of color, first of all, serving in an office of deacon and a place that is pretty patriarchal and many of our uh, uh, ecumenical churches still do not recognize women in offices. So to be here in the role of deacon, first of all, as a woman is empowering to the women who are here as well. But also to be here as a person of color is very unique. And I didn't realize this coming in, but I'll give you an example. Uh, we have a program every spring in our schools where the students, in 15 minutes, they write a mini talk. And they have to present this mini talk in English. And they're given a topic and they have 15 minutes to, to write out this talk and they have even less time to present it in English. And I was uh, there, of course, documenting this as a, communica a communicator, and I was completely floored at how many of the students in their quick research referenced civil rights leaders, people of color from the US. Those were their go-tos to talk about how they can overcome occupation, how they can aspire to be treated with dignity, how they can move their communities from places of oppression to places of, of freedom. They used African-American civil rights leaders as their grounding. And so for me to be here as a person of color has a, a different sort of connection than your average missionary. And I'm not saying that any of the other connections are less valuable, but this one certainly is unique. And it certainly is bringing a bit of those people who are in my lineage to them face to face, not just in textbooks. <laughs>